Joshua Holm with Dust of the Earth Mineral Balancing. In this video, I want to explain what it means when you have a really, really high tissue calcium level on an HTMA. So right off the bat, we're going to see on a hair tissue mineral analysis, if you have a high calcium, this means that you're, you're automatically a slow oxidizer. And a slow oxidizer ba basically means you're in a catabolic state. It's more parasympathetic dominant. Um, you're at an exhaustion stage of stress. You, you're, a you're aging uh, faster than you were would be at fast oxidation. Everybody ends up in slow at one point in their life. Um, some people a lot sooner than others. Some people can be up in their 60s, 70s and still be a fast oxidizer. Um, children are almost always fast oxidizers. Um, when we're seeing that somebody's in slow, a lot of the time they're also copper toxic. And that's one of the things that we're seeing on this chart is we're seeing that the person has a really high copper level and copper will lower potassium and raise calcium. And so if your, if your calcium is over 155, we're going to call this the calcium shell. And the calcium shell is, it's, it's a very interesting phenomenon. Um, it's indicative of trauma. It's indicative of high hidden emotion. Basically, it, you, when, when somebody has that much calcium in the tissue, not only do they have like this, this bone loss, right? Because the calcium is precipitated out of the bone into the soft tissues. That makes the person... Um, that can cause arthritic problems. Um, it can, it, it's indicative a lot of the time of, uh, diabetic trends. And it also tells us something about their psyche because what, what, what this really is, it's a psychological defense. When a person goes through a trauma or they go through something that's extremely, um, you know, extremely difficult. A lot of the time they'll do this thing where they, they, they hide their emotions. It's something that they don't have to even know about. Um, and so at the cellular level, they'll cover themselves with calcium to block off things getting through. And, you know, a lot of the time that's hormones, you know, like thyroid hormone is, it's being um, blocked from going into the cell from too much calcium, um, especially when the calcium to potassium levels that you know, that high. So, uh, and we'll see that right here. Um, you know, almost, I mean, always you're, you're going to see a very high, um, calcium to potassium ratio. It's not like you're ever going to see calcium at 162 and then potassium, um, at, you know, 162 as well. It, it's calcium antagonizes potassium. And so what that means to us is the calcium to potassium ratio is your thyroid ratio. And it tells us how efficient your, your thyroid is at the cellular level because calcium desensitizes the cell to thyroid hormone, whereas potassium sensitizes the cell to thyroid hormone. So that's, that's letting us know how much thyroid hormone is, is getting in. And so the thyroid is, is very inefficient at that point. Um, this is a person who who's very numb. They're, they're often desensitized to physical pain as well as emotional pain. The, and when here's, here's the interesting part of this phenomenon, when you actually antagonize that calcium and start to bring it down using nutrients, the a psychological effect happens where they're not able to actually guard themselves as well. And so they become more vulnerable, more sensitive. And and so it's like that, really that idea of like the hardened person or the person that's like really guarding their cells and has a, a wall up that's literally happening. And so once we bring down that calcium wall, all of a sudden their defenses are down. They're going to have to deal with those emotions and it could be, uh, it could be a difficult time emotionally, a lot of crying, a lot of feeling things, a lot of, you know, but it's, but it's a healing thing. The body's healing. Um, and it, and it's causing psychological healing. And so that's something to, um, that though it might be difficult, it's something to celebrate. It's a very, very good thing. And so we, when somebody has a calcium 
is calcium that high, it, it, it also tells us that the person has a copper problem. As people's adrenals start to slow down um, and because of the environmental exposure that we have so much in our modern society of copper, we actually start to accumulate copper in the liver and in the brain. And when that, when that starts to happen, we see that on the HTMA as a phenomenon where the calcium goes up and the potassium goes down. And so what we, what we also are, you know, looking at is a copper toxicity. And so we want co <laughs> copper has its own psychological effects when it becomes bio unavailable and um, it, you know, wreaks a lot of havoc. It can cause schizophrenic issues. It can cause, um, uh, hormonal issues. People will often lose their hair. They often detox the copper out of their skin, gives them all kinds of rashes, gives them all, all kinds of fungal problems. And, um, you know, people need copper as bioavailable copper as the premier antibacterial in their body. And so when they don't have that, they, they, they can get a lot of bacterial infections, fungal infections, parasites, those kinds of things. Um, and so this is, this is something that you want to deal with, not just by lowering cal calcium, not just by detoxing copper, but a full mineral balancing plan that's, that's intelligent and well-designed, very respective of the fact that every, all the minerals exist in a wheel and they all, um, are synergistic or antagonistic to each other. And so they have to be. Um, the, the, the program that the person goes on has to be very intelligent and according to the hair tissue mineral analysis. If this is your, your HTMA pattern, um, it, if this is, I just want to encourage you that, you know, this is, this is a, a, a skill in a defense mechanism that you you learn to, to do, um, to protect yourself. And it's, it's served you for a time, but it's not sustainable. It's not good for you long-term. It's not going to promote longevity and give you a long life. Um, so it's something that, that we can heal. It's something that you can get through. And as that calcium starts to come down, as that copper starts to detox and you're going through a suite of emotions, um, that, you know, that's the time to finally feel, to finally go through what you need to go through, maybe see a therapist you know, and, and actually heal. Um, but I, I, I commend you for, for being on this healing journey, for continuing, uh, for taking your supplements every single day, even though, you know, it can be a big handful of supplements three times a day. Um, you're doing great. So thank you for watching this video. I admonish you to, to check out more articles, more videos on the calcium shell and copper toxicity. And um, thanks for watching. God bless. <laughs>